Welcome back to Webwise. In this video, we will guide you on how to create and configure a Tailwind CSS project from scratch. We'll show you how to use Vite to create a vanilla project, create a Tailwind config file, install Tailwind IntelliSense, and configure the framework to match your design needs. To get started, create a new project folder on your computer. Once created, use Vite to initialize a new project. Vite is a build tool that helps you set up your development environment quickly and efficiently. To initialize Vite, run the following commands in your terminal. npm create Vite at latest. npm install. After initializing Vite, install other dependencies such as Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, and Auto Prefix are using the following command. Next, configure Vite. Here is an example of pre-configured code that will ensure that CSS files are produced in the Styles folder, JavaScript files are produced in the JS folder, and images are produced in the Assets folder during the building process. Additionally, we can now remove all unnecessary files and import the style.scss file for further customization. After setting up Vite, create a Tailwind config file using the following command. npx tailwinds in it, p. Once you have added a Tailwind CSS config file, you can configure the framework to your liking. The Tailwind config file allows you to customize font sizes, font families, spacing, colors, and other utilities. Additionally, you can use Tailwind IntelliSense to get code suggestions and auto-completion for Tailwind classes in your editor. Once you have set up your Tailwind project, it's time to start configuring the framework to fit your design needs. Firstly, let's configure our template path and add Tailwind directives to our SESS file. Now we are can customize our colors, font family, font weight, spacing in such a way. We just need to add a property object to our theme object and list the desired values there. Information about any other utilities you can find on the Tailwind official documentation. Link will be in description as well. Also, if we don't want to completely change utility values we can just extend existing one with extend key like that. Now, let's see how we can use the apply directive to create our own components. To do this, you can use the layer directive to add styles to Tailwind's base, components, and utilities layers. As you can see, we define a new component called full screen red that applies the bred 500 and H screen classes to it using the apply directive. If you're feeling adventurous, you can further customize your Tailwind configuration by using variants. Here's an example. This code provides some custom variants, but you can also use the layer directive to achieve the same result. Tailwind provides many other plugins, such as add utilities to register new static utility styles, match utilities to register new dynamic utility styles, add components to register new static component styles, match components to register new dynamic component styles, and many others, such as add base, add variant, match variant, theme, config, core plugins, and e. However, many of these plugins are rarely used. Knowledge of layer and apply directives, as well as Tailwind Utilities customization, is the most important thing to know. That should be enough for most of your projects. In this video, we showed you how to set up a Tailwind CSS project from scratch and configure it to fit your design needs. We hope you found this tutorial informative and useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more web development tips and tutorials, and we'll see you in the next one.